Hey, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. Life, family, all that stuff. You know how it goes. But today we are doing some painting for the WRX. You can see it in the background right there. Yes, as you can see, there's new wheels on it. I didn't do a video on it. I didn't have a chance to do a video. It just happened really quick. But I'll let you guys see those in the next video. This video, we're gonna be painting. We're gonna be taking everyday spray paint like this. And some of this clear coat right here. And we're gonna be making it look like it came out of a shop. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is what we're painting. These are what we're painting today. We got some CS style side skirts. As you can see, they're kind of like a urethane, urethane or whatever it's called. And it's not really shiny or nothing like that. And on the car, when we walk over here, we got these on there already, which is like a gloss black. So we're gonna be making that shiny black to match those. We're also gonna be painting this. We got the duckbill style wing. Yeah, it's all dirty, it's been out overnight. But we're gonna be color matching this to the car. And then we also got sides or front lip, which I think might be a gloss already. I don't know, we might need to paint that too. And we got some hello horns here that we will also be painting a different color. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take some of this Scotch-Brite general purpose uh, hand pads, taking off a piece. We're gonna be scuffing down the side skirts a little bit just to give it uh, something so the paint could bond to it. We're gonna see if we need paint. Hopefully I could just clear it and it'll make it shiny. If not, then I will be using the paint, painting it and then clearing it. And we're gonna be doing the same right there with that, as you can see it. I had to go to my automotive paint store and I got this, which is the same color as my car. Um, they went ahead and mixed me up some, it's right here. They put some of it in a spray can for me because I didn't want to paint the gun and all that, use the paint gun and all that. This is going to be a video on the DIYers that don't have the compressor, that don't have the spray gun, that don't have all that. And you want to see if you're good at painting or you like painting, but you don't want to spend all that money at first. Those are the best way to go. This is literally 2K clear. The best stuff you can get. It's like the regular clear coat where it's two parts. Take that cap off, put it down there, and it's two parts with the activator. So it's just like the clear that they use in body shops, but without the gun and the two part and all that stuff, because that gets expensive. So if you want to try it out and you want to see if you like it first, this is the way to do it. Start with doing this kind of stuff with spray paints and see how you like it. If you do, then invest in the compressor, then invest in the gun, then invest in all that stuff. Cause I got the clear coat up there. Right there, right there. That's the actual clear coat that they use at body shops that take the spray gun, but that stuff's expensive. It's like 150 to $400. So that's a lot of money if you don't know if you like to do this yet. So we're gonna do it this way and start off like that. So let me go ahead and prep this and we'll go from there. So this is what we did. As you can see, you take this pad and you just scuff it all up till there's no more shine. You don't want no shine on it. I did the same with this and I did the same with these. Um, that should be good enough for the painting process. We'll see uh, from there. I gotta pop one more thing off of my car and I'll catch up with you there. But just make sure you take one of these and get all the shine off before you paint. Get all the shine off. And right now it's all dusty, we'll clean that up. I'll show you how to clean that up in a second here. Let me grab the part off the car and we'll go from there. As you can see, I did the first coat. Just shake it up. Give it a nice even coat all the way through. I held this part, this is the part that I was talking about I needed to paint. As you can see that little divot right there. 
right there is where I messed up parking. But that's only one coat. These I'm gonna try with just the clear coat. See how they turn out. Uh, so I'll do that once I'm done with the paint. But just spray it on like you're spray painting anything, just a little, just like that. Nice and even all the way across. And then just make sure nice and even. Oh, there you are. Nice and even. I'm trying to paint and do the camera at the same time. But that's it, nice and even all the way across. And just keep doing that, let it dry for about five, 10 minutes. Give it another coat until you feel like it looks the way you want it. And then let it dry again about 10, 15 minutes. And we'll start the clear coat. I will uh, show you how to activate that clear coat once we're ready to start doing this but yeah it's just like that like you're painting a bicycle like when you were back in your when you were a kid just painting your bicycle same thing but you guys are gonna love the result i'll get back to you once it's time to uh start the clear coat process there you go this is like coat, this is after three coats. Same with over here on the mirror cap. You don't see that scuff really anymore that was there. It's looking pretty good. So we're gonna let this dry some more and then we'll begin the clear process. Well, hopefully I'm gonna test a little bit of the clear on this to make sure it's gonna make it shiny first. If it don't, then we gotta paint those black and then clear it. So we'll see. I'll get back to you when we find out what's going on. Okay, so it says to shake it like this for two minutes. So we're gonna do that. Then you take this top off right here. This little red part pops off. Stick it underneath there and push that pin in and then shake it for another two minutes and then it's good to go. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back to you once we're ready to start painting. There we go. We got that drying over there. The wing is right there. We got the side skirts I'm doing right now. I did have to paint them, so we're painting them right now. And then we'll put the clear. And uh, that's about it. And this is the paint we're using again. Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch, two times ultra cover, paint plus primer, flat black. If you're gonna do this kind of painting, always get either flat black or matte black. That way when you put the clear on, it's not the clear over the clear and it'll mess up, it'll bubble, it'll do all kinds of weird stuff. Get flat black or matte black. Anytime you do this kind of painting, it doesn't have to be with black, it could be with any color. The matte red, the matte blue, the matte white, whatever one color you're painting with, get the matte or the flat, and then use the clear coat on top of it. Let's go ahead and get some more coats on these and see if we can get the clear on this, and we'll be done with these. We have to break out the heat gun and heat it up. This paint, is not drying that fast because it is kind of a cold day here kind of chilly day so it's taking longer for the paint to dry so i broke out the heat gun um on the rust-oleum paint the automotive paint drew drew i mean dried up real quick that's already the clear is already done on those they're just drying I'm just trying to get this paint right here on the Rust-Oleum to dry up real fast so I can put some clear on it and then we can let it dry and on the next video we'll be installing 
these and the front lip right there onto the Subaru. So, yeah, if you guys have like a heated garage or a heated area, it'll go by quicker. Or if it's summer or you're in a hot area, you won't need to do this. But today for me, it is a little bit colder. So it's taking longer for the paint to dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this, get the paint to dry up, and then we'll throw the clear coat on and go from there. So the heat gun worked. We got it to dry enough. There's the first coat of clear right there. Doesn't look too bad. It would have came out a lot better if I did more prep and stuff like that, but I didn't really care too much about the side skirt extensions. I mean, my car is really low. They're probably gonna be blown out in a week or two anyways. Um, what I did pay attention to though was this. Look how good that came out. And then the same with the wing, because those are color matched and those are something that are gonna be seen and not gonna be messed up. Like I said, the side skirts, they'll probably be blown out within a week or two, how low my car is. So I didn't prep too much on these, but they do look pretty good. Um, we're gonna see if we need to uh, paint this as well. Um, we probably won't, it's kind of shiny enough it's probably not going to match that, but it'll be shiny enough. Uh, so yeah, once these dry, I got one coat of clear on there. Now I'm going to put maybe one more and uh, show you what the end result looks like. And there you go. I only put two coats of clear on the side skirts. Figured that's good enough. Like I said, there's some imperfections but i didn't spend that much time prepping this i just did it really quickly if you want them to be perfect spend more time prepping make sure you clean the surface really good but i did take my time prepping these it's like again i said look at that you can see the reflection you can see me right there hello and here's the wing right here Same thing, you can see me in the mirror, I mean the reflection. So that's it, that's how you do it. I spent, you can get these, make sure it says 2K clear, clear glosser. I got one from Amazon, which was 26 bucks. It took about a week to come in. I got this one from my automotive uh, paint store was like 32 bucks but i got it instantly here's the paint that i used again this is the best one i've had the best results with this paint right here remember to get flat or matte don't ever get glossy if you're doing this and then this is the paint from my automotive store that is the color code to my car that i used for the mirror cap and for the wing you have to get the color code if you're paint matching something onto your car uh so you get that from your automotive um your automotive paint store you can't get it from like home depot or nothing like that it has to be from your automotive paint store so we will be installing it soon the new wing as you can see my mirror cap you can't really tell from this angle but it's off on this side because i hit the boat so i repainted that but yeah, that's it. That's today's video. If you uh, want to try painting, but you don't want to spend all the money on like the clear coat and the gun and the compressor and the hoses and all that stuff, and you're not sure about the mixing levels, uh, do it that way. Go to your automotive paint store, give them your paint code or your VIN on the car. They'll come out and do it for you a lot of the times if you don't know where it's at. Get the paint made up, say you want some aerosol cans. Um, usually you have to buy a pint that's why they gave me this. This is the extra. It's like almost full still. Um, you could always tell them, just put it all in aerosol cans if you want to do it that way and uh, go from there. Get the clear and try it out. If you like it, um, then go ahead and invest in getting the actual like paint gun and the compressor and hoses and all that stuff. But 
try it out this way first see if you like it it's cheapest way like i said like 40 bucks all in with the paint uh if you go from the automotive paint store it's 31 dollars. then the scuff pads is like another five or ten bucks and then whatever paint you're using so under 100 bucks and you can paint and see if you like it if you do then invest or continue doing it this way whichever makes you happy but that's it for today's video uh we got a video coming soon installing front lip the side skirts and the parts that we just painted uh we also got something in here right here that's going to be the next video and then i also have a video coming out on my wheels i don't know if you can see them see different wheels we'll be revealing those and a few other things so stay tuned comment down below if you have any questions about this uh hit that like video if this helped you out maybe it'll help you save some money instead of taking it to a body shop and paying outrageous prices i mean come on they're charging like crazy right now this will do it good i've worked in body shops for many years and they, this is what they do this is what they do when they have small parts and they don't want to pull it into the booth and all that stuff they go to the paint store get it mixed put it in an airsoft can and do use the same 2k clear and this is what they do for the smaller parts instead of wasting all that time mixing and all that other stuff so try it out for yourself a couple hours and see what you do just let it dry um i would let it dry overnight before you put it on your car just to make sure it's fully fully dry and when you touch it you don't get fingerprints all over it uh but yeah that's my video there'll be more coming so comment down below what you think or if you have any questions hit that like button help your boy out we're growing we're at 700 and something subscribers right now we're almost at that thousand mark uh so keep it going hit that subscribe somewhere down there down below hit the subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video Peace.